everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film an autumn pamper routine. This like season of this year, I've just wanted to do a few kind of themed videos. So like my autumn makeup look, my autumn morning routine and evening routine. And this video is gonna be like a pamper routine. So like what I do in like an evening as a kind of pamper routine in terms of things that I do. It's kind of like an evening routine, but it's just focusing on the pamper aspects because I do tend to have like a little pamper session every single day of some kind. I literally have my weekly to-do list right here and I include housework, workouts, social things for the week and what I need to do for YouTube, what I need to do for my skincare brand and also at the bottom, my little pamper routine. So I kind of have like a weekly pamper routine and then I split that into like something for each day. Apart from on a Sunday, I don't really do anything because Sundays are my days when I don't want to have anything planned, even if it's a pamper thing, because it's still something that will be on my mind. So yeah, usually in a week, I include things like dyeing my eyebrows, scrubbing my face with a facial scrub, a liquid peel, a little foot spa. Maybe I'll paint my nails or do my nails like these ones. I always have my thumb off because there's always something I need to open and if I don't have this thumb and I've got the nail on I just can't open things I just don't understand how people can do it I also steam my face during the week which is what I'm gonna do today and I do a little hair mask as well during the week and fake tan I fake tan once every two weeks just roughly like it's not something that I'm that bothered about so yeah I have like a specific things I do and it just varies from day to day but I think today I'm going to steam my face, I'm going to do a face mask as I do one every single night so you'll see that and I'm also going to use the Body Shop Vitamin C Liquid Peels so if you want to see that then stick around but it's going to be cosy, it's just a cosy chill evening. I've had the heating on, I've literally only just turned it off because you would hear it in this video so it's annoying. Um, yeah my face is not like amazing, my makeup's kind of gone a little bit everywhere but that's not like the problem here so yeah let's get on to this evening routine and remember to grab a hot drink and to get cozy because this is going to be a cozy pamper routine so make sure to do that i had the camera balanced on this upside down candle this is actually the most perfect candle to light for autumn so if you've got a candle like this light it but i don't have any matches or anything um so i can't do that but yeah spiced berries and apple candle that's literally the most perfect candle for autumn i've had it for like i don't know like two or three years probably um, but yeah, I'm just going to put that back. <laughs> also have, which is another good candle, is this toasted marshmallow candle. So if I was going to have a proper, proper pamper routine, I would actually use um, and light these candles. So yeah, that's another cosy one. That one looks more like a Christmassy one. Um, so maybe at Christmas I'll get that one lit. Okay, so I've just taken my makeup off. I used my own cleansing balm from my website. It's actually running very low. But yeah, I used my cleansing balm to remove my makeup and then just washed it with a little cleanser. And I'm not, I swear I just saw a child run past my window. One second. Maybe that could have been my eyes. No, I don't think it was a child this time. Usually, children just run past the window. Um, straight past it. It's not even the road there. The road's further on. They run here. But yeah, sometimes they run past the window, which is great. But, you know, who cares, really? So I'm actually going to... Now I've taken my makeup off, I'm actually going to leave my skin to breathe for a little bit, which is what I always do. And I do actually do some facial cupping some days, and it really makes a massive difference, like you would not believe. I'm just going to sit you in the cupboard, and I'm going to make a cup of tea. It's the afternoon. We need hot drinks when it is cold, and we need to get cosy. So... Oh Christ, I'm going to boil the kettle and make myself a cup of tea. I usually have a coffee in the morning and a tea in the afternoon and the evening. So I'm going to use my new favourite mug. This is my new favourite mug. Sorry the kettle's boiling, you won't be able to hear, but yeah, I'm going to have a tea in this mug. So I'm just making a cup of tea, which is here, and I've got a, a cheeky, a very cheeky digestive biscuit as well. Um, this is like my afternoon little treat. So yeah, I'm gonna have that. By the way, I'm just drying my makeup brushes. Oh yeah, they're there they are. I'm just drying them in here. Um, if you ever wash your makeup brushes, 
dry them in a towel don't just leave them out to dry because they dry so much quicker and every two hours go like that with each one and they will honestly dry so quick so would recommend don't just like leave them to sit there because they'll be soaked for like two days um oh yeah and i made some of these really nice cookies sorry to be you know rude i'll probably have one later actually um but they've got like galaxy chocolate in them and yeah they taste so good so this is my little cozy setup i've got my tea on the floor and i've got a fluffy cushion sit there on the sofa so my back is on the cushion then i've got a blanket you've got to have a blanket especially in autumn and winter when it's getting colder got my laptop i'm gonna watch some youtube so i'm gonna sit and watch youtube and drink my cup of tea if you're wondering how i have my tea i don't have any sugar never have done actually i think i did when i was really young but I think my dad quit sugar and I was like, okay, I'll quit it too. So I just quit sugar and I much prefer it without sugar because it's more refreshing. But yeah, got my tea, got my digestive biscuit balancing on the chair. Oops. And yeah, I'm basically going to sit and watch some YouTube just whilst I drink my tea. But I'm also after that going to reply to emails because I haven't replied to emails for a few days. And yeah, I do get quite a few. Like whenever I get sent stuff, I always get e emails. Like it's not just a, do you want us to send this? product for you to try out and review and I say yes thank you here's my address like there's literally like so many emails that go back and forth you know with some companies some it's quicker but yeah it's, it's 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 a long process and for some reason it's getting closer to Christmas so people are like wanting to promote their products for people to buy at Christmas so they're wanting to send me some things and it's kind of I'm just gonna you know approach this in this video it's kind of like I don't know what to do because some of the products that I'm going to be sent are products that I'm also currently making on my website, like a moisturiser. Somebody wants to send me a moisturiser, even though the moisturiser that they want to send me is more of a creamy moisturiser and it's a hemp one, whereas mine is a gel moisturiser that contains aloe vera. So I just think they are two very different products, but I still don't know whether it would look bad to promote somebody else's product over my own even though obviously I would rather you buy mine but do you know what I mean like I would still love to try that product and I would still love to film a video on it like I don't know what to do about that and also somebody else wants to send me a hemp face mask so it's like well I've got a face mask but their face mask is a hemp one like just because I like my face mask and it's probably my favorite face mask it doesn't mean that I can't use other people's face masks like do you know what I mean so it's just hard for me to think like oh I really want this but then do I speak about it or whatever and I can't accept the product if I'm not going to speak about it so I just thought I'd mention that in this video that that's just where my head's at but there is also some really odd things that people want to send me and I'm like no thank you um so don't think I accept everything because I really don't. I only accept things that are tailored to my channel. Um, or at least I try to, unless I think it looks really cool and I'm like, oh yeah, I want to try that, which is actually something that I will um that I'll show you soon. Looks really cool. That I will show you probably probably after Christmas now, to be fair. Um, but yeah. Got to do my emails, gotta look at my uni emails as well, and I'm also gonna sort out my finances because i'm keeping track of my finances what's going in what's going out weekly budget etc etc and i'm updating that daily and still it takes me hours <laughs> i don't know how but anyway i will see you later on i was just about to watch some youtube and i literally just noticed that my favorite youtuber and she is definitely my favorite at the minute i forgot to include her in my october favorites but my favorite youtuber is Gemma louise miles i will try and remember to link her channel in the description if you want to go and watch but she literally does like the nicest content for autumn and winter like the coziest videos and stuff so yeah i am gonna watch some of her now Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Part of my pamper routine. I'm joking. Mum's just brought this cage round because um, basically my hamster was in that cage, but he's really old and he's struggling to climb up the steps. So I've moved him into a smaller retirement cage. We actually don't think he's going to make it, do he, we, Mum? He's struggling to do less than climb steps at the yeah. moment, isn't he? Oh, and don't worry, we're covering these holes oh, in case someone can message us. He ain't going to be getting But he up, won't be able to even get up here. He can't even get up the stairs. He's that bad he's in there you can't really see him I think he's eating a nut right now but um oh, yeah. he's not well he's we've had him for quite a long time like he is getting old he's about two and a quarter 
Yeah, probably. Maybe a little bit more. But I literally, usually, if I poke him, like, I'm not obviously going to poke him, but I, I just gently stroke him. Yeah, that's better. Um, then he would flinch, usually, because obviously it's a hamster, he'll get scared. Um, but today, we stroked him and he didn't even notice we were there. He was fast asleep and mm. he just stayed asleep. And a normal hamster would not stay asleep. And his fur is so thin as well. Yeah. I don't know what he's got wrong with him, but obviously he's really old, so we don't think he's going to make it. He might be a little hamster, but we love that guy. I'm going to be gutted when he goes. It's little Dean. But if he's going to go, may it be quick. You know, I don't want him to yeah. suffer. So I thought I would just add that in there. It's not exactly a pamper routine, but mum did bring the candle lighter for me to light candles. It looks like a vape. Oh yeah, I'm don't not going to vape that. <laughs> <laughs> right, so yeah. Bye. My mum's just left and my hamster seems to be doing a little bit better. He was actually moving um, around a little bit and sort of doing things and eating his food. Um, so he seems to be a lot better in the smaller cage. But, oh, fireworks. It's not bonfire night. What day is it? The fourth. All right. Um, anyway, we can light candles. We can light candles. Um, so I'm gonna light some candles, but be very careful because I haven't lit one in ages, so I'll probably forget it's there. Um, apologies, Dad, if I accidentally burned down this flat. I'm joking, I won't, I promise. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna light a few candles for vibes, so bear with. Move all paper out the way. <laughs> we do not want any accidents today. Right, I'm gonna light this little guy, which is Cherry Bakewell, and I'm gonna light the one I showed you earlier, which is Spiced Berries and Apple. Actually, can I light that? I think I've accidentally destroyed the stalk got my nails too big on that one I think I've destroyed the stalk so much on both of these I can't light this candle oopsies yeah that one's not gonna be working we'll try this one yeah that's one right we've got one lit okay we've got one lit I'll go and get the other one right and then the snow one the uh, whatever it's called no, what was it called marshmallow not snowman marshmallow one there we go Ooh and then we have the big boy we've got this one i'm gonna keep my care at uh, my carers my candles in the same area just so that i know where they are if you can hear any noises it's um the fireworks outside heavens above Pop that in the little cage. Oh yeah, this candle is fig and mulberry candle. So they're all very autumnal candles. So these are my candles. I think I'm gonna put this one on the floor. It's the most safest candle because it's actually in that thing. And then these two, I think I'm just gonna keep them on here. Um, and just put them like here because I just don't want to set fire to like the blinds or anything. Like I would never put a candle on there. Um, so I'm just going to keep these chilling in here. Maybe just next to each other. Because I haven't lit candles in a while, so I don't think it's safe for me to just dot them around the place. Because I won't remember where they are. So yeah, I'm just just tidying whilst I'm talking to you. But this is so cool. I think my mum got this from Lidl. I'm 100% get one of them again there. So much easier. I'm one of those people that hates lighters and hates matches. This is nice. I like that. So yeah. Right. Let's go. Okay, so this isn't really a pampering activity, but it is quite relaxing. I do enjoy it. I'm cooking. I've just put a bit of garlic in here. I'm batch cooking like a vegetarian curry. I'm not vegetarian, but I'm just making this vegetarian. Put my little candle there. And yeah, I've got all these vegetables ready to chop up to make a curry. And then I will leave it to sit for a bit when the sauce is in and everything. Whilst my food is cooking, I'm gonna do some facial cooking. So I'm gonna use this rose hip oil and then from Vogue Now, which I did do a collaboration video with them. So if you just search Vogue Now or facial cooking into the search bar on my actual channel, then my video will come up, but it has to be on my actual channel. Um, so I'm gonna use these do some facial cooking. I won't actually show you me doing it too much because um, it's in that video, but yeah, oil first, then I use this to smooth down my skin and then I do facial cooking and it really, really helps to make your skin plump.
So I've just finished cooking and I've made my um, rice as well. So I've got vegetarian chicken, uh, no, not vegetarian chicken, vegetarian tikka curry. That's what I'm gonna call it. So I'm currently just saving this video. I'm gonna try and get this video up tonight. It's getting late, but I'm still gonna try and get it up and I'm just saving it right now to my laptop and then I'm going to wash up. So I also batch cooked a couple of these. So I had like a couple of portions spare of the curry mixture so that I can freeze them and have them like next week or something like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I also had one of my homemade cookies that I made. So I had one of these and that was very good. And I'm about to, oh dear. Sorry, that's the washing machine door. Forgot about that. I'm about to, oh yeah, that's Dean's pepper by the way. I'm just chilling on the side. It's just so that I know which one's mine's and which one's his. By the way, Dean's my hamster, um, if you got confused there. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have a glass of this uh, hooch. Actually, oh my God, do I have a bottle opener? I very much hope I do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have a glass of this. I think I'm gonna split it into three and have one tonight, one tomorrow, and one the day after. Hopefully, if I can keep it fresh. But yeah, one of my favorite drinks. I love hooch. Oh my God, that tastes so much better in a glass. Usually I would drink that out of the bottle or in like not a wine glass. It tastes better in a glass. Anyway, I'm gonna do a face mask. So I'm gonna kind of round off this pamper routine with a face mask. And tonight I'm gonna use the Himalayan charcoal one. Oh, oh my God. So yeah, Himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask. So I've just put on my face mask, my Himalayan charcoal face mask. I'm gonna wash up and tidy up my flat just briefly before bedtime. Then I'm gonna sit down, watch some YouTube and chill, drink the rest of this. And, oh, actually I'll have a little shower just to remove my mask and wash. Get into my pajamas, get cozy, and then go to bed at about 11. It's currently nearly 10 o'clock now. I was gonna do a liquid peel, but, and also I was gonna steam my face, but I'm gonna include that in a different pamper video. So don't worry, you'll see that, but in a different video because this video is getting long and also I can't be bothered to do that. I'm gonna do that tomorrow, so <laughs> let's go. Anyway, so I'm gonna end the video now here. No point in me carrying on, but yeah, thanks for watching this little pamper video, kind of random cozy-ish whatever vlog this is give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe and i will see you very soon goodbye bye bye i'm trying to wave but i can't help and i can't turn the camera off this is not a good angle <laughs>